Hi everyone, welcome to another quick Cyto tutorial. I'm going to give a quick rundown of some of the architectural patterns you'll see in thyroid FNAs and some examples of where you'll find them. Generally, thyroid FNAs show flat, regular sheets, which are usually signs of macrofollicular architecture. This is what you'll mostly find in benign thyroid nodules. Sometimes these sheets will have a stretched out appearance, as in this example of cyst lining cells. Flat sheets can also be found in carcinomas, as in this case of a papillary thyroid carcinoma. In papillary carcinomas, the predominant architecture is irregular sheets with a syncytial appearance with very few intact papillae, since the epithelium tends to detach easily from the fibrovascular cores. Microfollicular architecture is important to recognize as this is the predominant architecture in follicular pattern neoplasms. Notice the small size, orientation of the cells around a central point, a small lumen, and the superposition of nuclei. Another common pattern is loosely cohesive and discohesive cells. This can be seen in Herthel cell neoplasms as well as in medullary thyroid carcinoma. You might also see this pattern, albeit with a different cell type, in lymphocytic thyroiditis with clusters of Herthel cells as well as clusters of germinal centers along with the dispersed lymphocytes. Lastly, some neoplasms show 3D clusters without any apparent follicular architecture, as in some cases of medullary carcinoma, or this example of an intrathyroid thymic carcinoma. Be careful in these cases to rule out sampling of parathyroid tissue. Hope you enjoyed this. All the best.